guys get what you pay for. And this is the content you deserve. This trite nonsense is what you get. Hi, you know what a funny gag is if I recorded the whole episode? <laughs> hey guys, I wonder who's at the door. Oh sh! I don't even get a single cent out of making this stupid content for you guys. I do this for free. Why? Well, <laughs> I do it because I'm altruistic. Just a minx. But is she just a minx? What exactly is a minx? It's some sort of animal, isn't it? All right, just a minx. Get ready for the best piece of content ever. Hey, get out my house. Stay out, loser. This is only for real Just The Minx fans. I'm not gonna make fun of you too much, all right? But just a little bit. I'm not gonna be one of those people who like puts their talons into you just about every time you see them. That's not me. No, I'm cool. That's not me. All right, I'm a cool. I have a big megaphone and a lot of money to pay for medical insurance. Oh my God. Streaming is a tough gig. It requires extra stamina and a whole lot of endurance. If you don't got those two things... Hey, you wanna see my little fun thing I have? Just the minx, you'd love this. I don't even feel like if this is like contraband even holding this in front of the camera. Basically, you put it on your head and it feels so good. I feel like uh, Matthew McConaughey at the end of Interstellar. I'm not really a fan of the platform. Twitch or live streaming in general. It strips too many layers down from video editing that I wouldn't want to remove in the first place. You know, like the creation of content, the formulation of ideas, a very concise practice. People like Just The Mix, breaking the mold every step of the way. She's got something new to show the audience. Just what that is, I don't really know. I haven't really watched too many of her streams, but I'm sure they're really good. So I've always been a big proponent of the idea that giving people direct access to you online, whether it's Twitch chat or uh, I don't really know what else, Twitter. I think Twitter's the next direct line of contact. You know, people spend so much time formulating their responses on Twitter. Tweeting is not anything special because just about anybody is gonna read it in whatever voice they ascribe to you in their head. Don't feel guilty to not look at comments or to shut audience members out. You shouldn't develop a personal relationship with anybody you don't feel comfortable building a relationship with in the first place. Some of you YouTubers really need to know that. Um, I don't know who, but some of you. I would like to think that being a YouTuber holds some form of integrity to it, the way it used to in 2007 when I watched Numa Numa guy pump his fists into the air. All right, now we gotta talk about something a little bit more serious. It's good. Good to talk about this stuff. Nobody's gonna talk about it until they do. All right, I wanna talk about this because it's important. It is. If you don't know what Just The Minx has been through, I'll fill you up this time to speed. And I usually don't do this with tubers because I like you guys to have some preconceived idea as to what is going on with the tuber. If, uh, if you don't, I'll just say like, Just The Minx, very serious, this actually happened. All right, she had a car accident for a brief fleeting moment. There was a point where she was clinically dead, and then she was resuscitated, brought back to life. Despite my ignorance on the topic, I wish to talk about it because it's important that we discuss these things, you know, what happens in the afterlife. And Justin Minx reports that when she passed out, passed away, it's not passing out, she died. When she died, she reported not seeing much of anything. Now, I would love to argue that this is a result of memory loss. And uh, the reason I want to argue that is because I'm on the opposite team. She name's Rebecca. That's a nice name. I'll share my experiences with you. I've been knocked out five or six times now. I know how it happened. Not all of it was like concussions. You know, I wasn't like decked out in the face or anything crazy like that. You know, there is a lot of memory loss involved in that. A lot of movies, people just wake up from getting, you know, knocked flat on their back and they're just right back at it. But it, sometimes it takes days to recover from this stuff. And a lot of people don't realize that within those days, you're gonna miss out a lot of memory. But one day I was in an ER and I was experiencing a whole host of symptoms. And I eventually had this sort of seizure event where as it was happening, I don't know what I tapped into, but I definitely saw something that I would consider not necessarily an afterlife, 
but a sort of chain of events, like a layering of dimensions. But like for me, I remembered. I don't know what happened exactly, but I've been on the brink quite a few times in my life, you know? There's been plenty of times where I've, uh, I've almost kicked it, and I will say like, I haven't been clinically dead in my life, but I would like to report there being somewhat of an afterlife. Same with ghosts. Ghosts, uh, I, see, I see ghosts when I want to, and I think it's pretty cool. And sometimes they do really interact. They'll, you know, pet me, or they're, they're nice. They're, they're really nice. Basically the point of this mix is, uh, I, I just wanna give you hope that there's more to this. Cause life is a fleeting bout of disappointment a lot of the time. All right, ups and downs, a whole lot of letdowns. And it's learning how to be content with how little we have on this planet. Whether that's in relation to materialistic wealth or the good times we're having. If you're able to live through bad times but feel good about it, that is a superpower. And learning how to do that is next to impossible but not impossible. You figure that out, you got the key to life, all right? Learning how to manage how you feel is what's gonna determine just about every experience you have on this planet. Once you tap into everything just a little bit, you start to realize like it's all really cool and it does matter, but if you don't feel good about what's going on in the moment, then it means next to nothing. Engage with the reality around you. So many of you guys don't do that. You get cut off. You, you start going on your phone, you go to a restaurant, you go on your phone. Don't do that, all right? Experience what's going on around you and you will notice when you do this, just about everybody around you is doing the same thing, going on their phone. Same with social media, cut, cut costs, all right? Tweets are nothing. Someone's bullying you on Twitter. Everybody who has a Twitter is losing, no matter who you are. You're losing, you're bleeding out. It's like recycling. The carbon tax of technology on your brain is important, so reduce that. I do a lot to try and make myself feel good, but ultimately what matters most is having people. If you don't have people to share experiences with, you're not gonna lone wolf it like in some post-apocalyptic movie. For any tuber or streamer, if you bring tears to the camera, own it, all right? If you're upset and you break down on camera and you want to portray this to people, make sure you do. I'm not saying make an act out of it, but what I am saying is don't turn it into a joke. If you wanna set that precedent for yourself, go ahead, all right? But I would say uh, that can only ever be destructive. Nix, I'm talking to you, all right? I saw you cry on camera and I was like, dude, this girl needs help. Like, I, I really want to say something nice about this girl and help her out. And then she turns it around like, hey, it's a joke. I know it's not a joke, all right? Nobody can cry on command without accessing some real level of emotion. Don't ever do it again. <laughs> I don't like it when people do that. I don't, that's like a pet peeve. And I've seen, I saw like three days ago, someone else did it. Don't do it. All right, Justin Minx, I'm gonna put you on the YouTuber hierarchy of needs. For you, I would say, hmm, I wanna put you at a clout and outreach because I don't think you've recognized your full potential as a tuber. Don't try to be something you're not, okay? I feel like that's what I need to say to you right now.